Hey, what's up everybody? Um, so, uh, thanks for like joining back to support my channel if you are. Um, I appreciate it. Like I've said before, I'm trying to get it up and running again. And um, yeah, trying to make content regularly again if I can. Hopefully, I really want to for the channel. So <clears throat> today I want to talk about um, a variety article and interview <clears throat> um, with Robert Pattinson. As most of you probably know by now, he is going to be playing in the new Batman movie that Matt Reeves is uh, developing. So, <clears throat> um, regardless of how you feel about it, for me, it's still interesting to kind of keep up with what's going on um, regarding the movie. For me, it's bittersweet because I loved Ben Affleck. I was super excited for him. Um, I was super excited from the time he was cast because I love him as an actor. Um, and then, of course, when BBS came out, like, I was just like, this is bad. Like, I loved him as Batman, which most of you know if you followed my channel before. But um, I was really sad, like, really disappointed to see him go, um, to see him leave the DCU. And, but at the same time, Robert Pattinson, I'm also a fan of him. So it's... It's hard, you know, it's, it's just, yeah, I, but I guess I would rather be a fan of the person that they chose to replace Ben Affleck than not be like familiar or, you know what I mean? Like it sucks that Ben Affleck left, but at the same time, I'm glad that I'm a fan of the person that they chose. So anyway, this variety, um, variety interview and article wrote with Robert Pattinson, he discusses another movie that he's doing called The Lighthouse. Um, but I'm going to focus on the stuff that he um, mentioned about the Batman movie. Um, first of all, it mentions that um, <laughs> when it leaked that he was going to be cast as Batman, it was not like an official statement that was made when everyone found out from like Warner Brothers. It was leaked um, to the media. And Robert Pattinson talks about that he was really upset when it got leaked <clears throat> sorry excuse me um that him and his team was panicking because he thought that it was going to ruin his chances of actually playing the role even though he'd already been cast and so i thought that was pretty interesting that he thought it was going to ruin the fact that or like you know just i don't know why they would let him go if they already cast him just because of it leaking but i guess he thought that you know it has to be Everyone knew that this was going to be such big news whenever they did reveal who was going to be the Batman. Um, so maybe that's why he thought, you know, it was a big deal that it got out before they were able to make an official statement. So um, <laughs> um, he talks about that a little bit, like how he was Googling himself to see if he was going to be removed from the role and stuff like that. <laughs> um, but it's actually a pretty long article. Um, I just want to highlight a few things. Um, he also talks about how, um, he's always been interested in playing Batman, um, but at the same time that he probably wouldn't have wanted to play this role right after, um, the Twilight series, which was obviously, like, the biggest franchise of his career, um, <clears throat> that he would have been too nervous about it, and that also, as a kid, Batman was really his favorite superhero, his only superhero that he would really, like, dress up as, and, um, you know, that, um, he's, hope he's hopeful that he can successfully play the character, um, you know, be positive about it. And I also like another statement that he made was pretty interesting, um, <clears throat> since, of course, there was a lot of backlash, but I think that that would be expected Pretty much no matter who was cast, at least by people who were fans of Ben Affleck. Um, but he says that, you know, honestly it wasn't as bad as he was expecting. <laughs> I think he expected there to be backlash because of the response to Ben Affleck by a lot of fans. Um, but that he said it's much more fun when you're an underdog because there's no expectation of you. <clears throat> I thought that's a really interesting point of view to have about it. 
Um, I guess if people are, if there are people who are super disappointed and not expecting you to do a good job in the role, then <clears throat> you can kind of only go up from there, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, for people who are, you know, not expecting him to do a good job or don't want to see him, you know, are disappointed that he got the role, then yeah, he's right. Maybe there's not an expectation of him by a lot of people. So, you know, he can kind of just use that to his advantage, I guess, he's, um, is what he's trying to say. I thought that was a really interesting um, take on it for him to be positive, to turn it into a positive thing um, for himself. Another thing I found interesting about his um, comments on Batman is that it says that he had been chasing this role for a long time without, like, no one really knew, the public didn't really know, um, and that he had heard that Matt Reeves was working on the scripts, uh, on the scripts, on the script, that um, portrays Bruce Wayne in a younger um, time of his life. And so he'd had that in his mind and um, that he had his own ideas and that he was actually trying to get in touch with Matt for a long time, with Matt Reeves but that he, Matt Reeves wasn't accepting any meetings with him. So um, I guess when Matt Reeves finally finished his script, he agreed to meet with Robert Pattinson. And Robert Pattinson says that he had been, you know, kind of trying to imagine what Matt Reeves had written in the script and before he'd even read it. And that um, he was, uh, that's when he kept, he was continuing to talk about how he was um, really nervous because when he went to meet um, the Canes in Maine, all the you know all this media and press came out about him being Batman and him meeting with Matt Reeves and stuff like that. He was scared because um, he didn't know if that was going to affect him getting the role, like I said earlier. And so then he goes on to talk about um, trying on the bat suit. <laughs> in LA um, and that it was maybe the craziest thing he's ever done in terms of movie stuff he says um, this is what he said uh, his his quoted um, statement is I put it on I remember saying to Matt it does feel quite transformative he was like I would hope it does you're literally in the bat suit uh, Pattinson describes what the moment was like you do feel very powerful immediately and it's pretty astonishing something that is incredibly difficult to get into so the ritual of getting into it is pretty humiliating. You've got five people trying to shove you into something. Once you've got it on, it's like, yeah, I feel strong, I feel tough, even though I had to have someone squeezing my butt cheeks into the legs. And then he also continues to talk about like how you have to adjust your body movements while in the suit. And I think one of the biggest things about all these different actors playing Batman is they talk about how difficult it is to maneuver in the suit and just do simple like movements much less trying to do like action sequences where you know you have to do movements that would be really difficult in a suit like that so um you know he obviously he has his own ideas about um how he wants to maybe change the suit a little bit or his ideas for the suit to maybe improve it um and also he says that um five days after he tried on the suit he officially was named as the person who's going to play the role, and that he was really relieved. Um, he got the role over Nicholas Holt, which I know that there was some talk about him possibly being in the role, possibly being in the movie uh, as Batman Bruce Wayne, but I wasn't, I didn't know that he was actually the front runner up against Robert Pattinson, so that was also um, pretty interesting. Um, <clears throat> but he also didn't say if he's committed or not to like a franchise of movies. Um, we know that Matt Reeves is supposed to make a trilogy of Batman movies for Warner Brothers. Um, he says he doesn't know anything, um, so he's going to work on it gradually. He, and so, uh, and he also wouldn't say anything about Joker, <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix. So if they're going to meet at some point in this movie universe, which I think some people are thinking they might, but we don't really know anything about that yet. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I just thought that he made some interesting comments. It's kind of cool to see him talk about the role now that we know he is going to be um, playing Batman slash Bruce Wayne in the Matt Reeves Batman movie. Um, like I said, it's bittersweet for me. I am a big fan of Robert Pattinson. Um, 
my thing is cheesy, but I actually like the Twilight movies. <laughs> Some parts of it are a little bit cheesy. I know there's things about it, but I would, I like flew through the books in about two weeks, all four of them. So I do, I'm a big fan of the movies. And I think that he was the perfect choice for Edward Cullen. Um, and that, so I think that, um, I think he's going to do a good job. Like I am really interested to see, um, him in this role. I think he's good at playing like kind of a darker brooded type of role because that's how he kind of is in Twilight, you know, like, um, he's a little brooding. He's not like super like upbeat and happy and bright and he's not that way. Um, that's not his, that wasn't his character in Twilight. Um, and so I think he's, I think he'll do good in this role. Um, as a younger Bruce Wayne. Interesting. Did some of you know, since we're talking about, you know, DCEU and uh, Twilight, um, the creator of Twilight, she had said that in her mind, when she pictured Edward Cullen, it was actually, her choice would have been Henry Cavill, whom I didn't know at that time. <laughs> but that's what she said. She said that she would have liked to she was, in her mind, that's how she pictured Edward Cullen, was Henry Cavill was who she would have chosen, um, who she would have wanted to choose for the role. But since he was supposed to be a teenager, um, that at that time, Henry Cavill already looked a little bit too, I don't want to say old, because he's not old, but he didn't look like he could be in high school <laughs> at that time. Um, and so, you know, obviously they had to go with someone who's younger, younger looking, but I just thought that was interesting when I found that out. So anyway, <laughs> throw that in there, but, um, talking about Twilight, but yeah, I really am interested to see him in this role. I do like him as an actor. Um, I'm happy that at least they have someone cast so they can like get the ball rolling in this movie and, you know, just kind of get back to, you know, having a Batman in this universe. And we'll see what happens with the other, you know, like, I don't see Jason Momoa or Gal Gadot going anywhere. I think the other with um, Ezra Miller and Ray Fisher are kind of up in the air, just in my opinion. Not that I want them to be, but that's just my opinion. Um, and <laughs> Henry Cavill, I don't know. I know that he still, he has said that he still, of course, wants to play Superman at him. And um, Christopher McQuarrie had... Um, pitched an idea for Man of Steel, you know, a second Superman movie, but then he got rejected and blah, blah, blah. I know that he wants to be in this role still. I just really want Warner Brothers to grab onto that. And, oh, makes me, I don't want him to go anywhere. I will be super sad. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, let me know if you're looking forward to seeing Robert Pattinson as Batman. Some of this fan art that's been floating around social media since it was released that he is going to be in the movie. I, he actually looks pretty good as Batman, I think. Like, I think he pulls off, obviously, the Bruce Wayne look. He has that, like a young Bruce Wayne. But him, like all these people that are doing fan art of him in a bat suit, I'm buying it. Like, I think it's convincing. And so I'm pretty interested. Um, I think it's going to be interesting when we get our first official, like, photo of him or something in the bat suit. Um, I'm looking forward to that. So anyways, I know I keep rambling, but, um, let me know what you guys think about him in this role, since we are kind of getting, um, a little bit of, um, comments from him about it. And anyways, thanks guys for watching. Check out the links in the description, Patreon, my Actawear, Act um, Actawear apparel link. Um, yeah, so thanks guys for watching. See you next time.